it's you. Welcome. Uh, hi, Mayor Zhao. We're ready to redeem our coupons. Oh, oh, but of course. Just step right this way. Uh, uh, huh. Um, who's that? That's the Magister, your rube. Pay your respects. Oh, <laughs> boy, is this uh, awkward. It's a long story. Can we explain it all inside, please? <sighs> oh, I know I'm going to regret this. Come on. This is absolutely horrible, catastrophic. Who's going to be my Battle Sphere champion now? A talking fish just took over all of Shang Tu, and that's what you're worried about? Yeah. Oh, but also dibs on the Battle Sphere champion title. So can we stay here? I suppose I could squeeze you all in the library. Follow me. Your Excellency, about what Murga was telling us, was any of that true? Yes. Why? It was a different time. We were at war. We had no choice. No choice? How was almost wiping out an entire race even a choice? There are no good choices in war. There is only survival and the means to achieve said survival. Surely someone of your upbringing would understand that. Oh no! Don't you dare try and guilt trip me! I never killed anyone when I was in the Red Scarves! And yet, did you not behave in a manner contrary to your true self simply because to do otherwise would invite the scorn of your peers? Did you not comfort yourself with the hopeless lie that you were a good person in spite of the crimes you committed? The sins you inflicted? You don't know what you're talking about! You don't know anything! Hey, that's enough! That's still the Magister you're shouting at! Besides, this here is a library.
Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Dinner is served. Mmm, delish. Oh, man, I totally forgot how hungry I was. I'm not really that hungry. Not after what happened tonight. Speaking of which... <clears throat> tonight has not been easy. We have lost the battle, but the war is not over yet. We need to devise a strategy. Murga is a threat to all of Avalis. Yeah, and I doubt you'd want her coming to visit your city again, Zhao. <laughs> if that fish face so much as lays a single foot in my city, she'll be fried. Like, like this plate of fried plantains right here. Yeah, only more like blackened bananas, as these babies have clearly been cooked to golden perfection. Hoo-hoo, pass me some of that, will ya? One moment. Here you are. Focus. So what do we know about Murga, anyway? I mean, what else? Murga comes from a time when Shang Tu was at war with the island nation of Perusa. She was uncontrollable, laying waste to entire armies single-handedly. My ancestors were unable to end her, but they did devise a way to contain her. They sealed her and her destructive potential away with the power of the Kingdom Stone. The Kingdom Stone? So when the stone was shattered, that Brevin, another calamity we can lay at his feet. But what else? Murga seems to be completely set on her vengeance. Why? All the water dragons are gone now. And then there's Bakunawa. Just what is that thing? There's so much we don't know, and the only people who can tell us are long dead. Oh, those people may be dead, but there's no reason why they can't talk. Well, not literally talk, I mean, but... My library has the largest collection of historical texts in all of Avalis. I'm sure I have a few books written by people who lived in those times. Wow, that sounds super neat. I'd love to read them. Certainly. Our rental fees are very reasonable. Then I will commit myself to research. Perhaps an answer to our current predicament lies within those texts. I'd love to help, too. Um, if that's okay, Your Excellency. A second pair of eyes would be useful. Yeah, while you guys read, I'm gonna go find Cory and talk her out of this. What? Absolutely not. She's with them. That makes her our enemy. She attacked us, Carol. She put you in danger. Okay, fair points all around, but listen. I know how she thinks. It's all about money to her. If you, like, drop some moolah on me to bribe her or something, I'm sure she'd switch sides just like that. Everything you just said does not help your case in the slightest. A mercenary who would work for the highest bidder and change loyalties at the drop of a hat is inherently untrustworthy. I concur. It would be an unnecessary risk. Come on, we could use her help. She has that huge airship thing, too. <clears throat> Don't mean to toot my own horn here, but, uh, fastest airship in the country right here. We appreciate the gesture. And we shall avail ourselves to that service as well. Oh, well, I didn't mean... I mean, I guess I did I mean, but- It is settled. The mercenary is too great a risk. We must focus on the immediate task ahead of us. Assess the threat of Murga and stop this Bakunawa. <sighs> Everyone, wake up! Carol is gone! Of all the worst times. Traitor! What? Carol? She may be a lot of things, like reckless and selfish, but- She knows where the Magister is hiding and our plans. If she doesn't outright join Murga, then this information will be beaten out of her. It doesn't matter how we feel about her. She's placed our entire mission at risk. And that makes her a traitor. Do you hear yourself? You're talking about our friend. The captain was our friend. Ascal was our friend. Who's next, I wonder? Are you going to join Murga as well? Nira, calm down! Don't tell me what to do! Stop! Please, stop! I can find Carol. I know her scent. Lady Nira, I know you're hurting, and I know you're having trouble trusting people right now. But trust me, I would never, ever hurt you. Please. You're right. Forgive my outburst. It's okay. We'll find her together. Right! 
We all know where she's going, so all we need to do now is find her sister. Her ship is a Perusian carrier. She'll most certainly have a base in the Southern Islands. Then that's where we're headed. Tell Perusa! Hold it right there! You don't honestly think you can get to Perusa without my help, do you? You're coming with us? Certainly! With our combined strength and cunning, we'll get that fish-faced tyrant a proper what for! He wants to find a new Battle Sphere champion. I want to find a new Battle Sphere champion. Very well. Your ship would ease the difficulty of passage. To the skies, my friends! from here, Mayor. You may continue on your way. He's not coming with us? Oh, I get it. We need to keep a low profile. Zhao and his airship would be way too conspicuous. Eh, wrong! I'm just way too awesome for this mission. Or that, sure. Well, I'm off to find my champion! Toodles! We'll call you if we need a ride! Watch out for roaming!
getting a signal. Carol? I don't know. It's all fuzzy. About time you ladies picked up. What the... Spade? That's my name. Don't wear it out. A red scarf. Explain yourself. How did you access our channel? I'd prefer to tell you in person. Meet me in the basement at Goldie's. Can't miss it. Long time no see. Long time no see. Long time no see! And we have never met. Are we done? Yep. Anyway, lower your hackles. Your channel is secure. I just got the codec frequency off my brother. I guess Dale heard about the attack, huh? Yeah. And he's doing everything he can to avoid an all-out war with an ancient water dragon. In the meantime, I'm just doing my part to save the world. We do not conduct business with career criminals. Yeah, and saving the world doesn't really line up with your usual interests. Look, it was either this or helping Mayor Zhao find his champion. And you know me, I like my jobs dangerous. Besides, I've got intel that I think you'll want to know. So what do you say? Hmm. Let's do it for Carol! What kind of intel? Secret tunnels, strange beacons, the works. These islands are crawling with them. And our newly elected leader of Shang Tu is using them for her plans. Ah! Is that a volcano? I only see smoke, which is good. Hot melted lava would be bad. Not exactly a vacation hotspot, huh? Oh, it's a hotspot, all right. Those volcanoes should be dormant. Plus, a bunch of robots have moved into the region, and they are definitely not friendly. Robots! Sounds like that monkey's friends! We will find out what these extremists are planning and crush them at their source. Perhaps you are of some use to us after all, Scarf. 
but don't expect us to owe you anything. Relax. Big Bro's the one foot in the bill. These are the leads I've dug up so far. Then this diner will act as our headquarters for the interim. We can talk battle strategies over Lumpia! Right. Let's move out. 